good day, good afternoon, good evening, or good night to my beautiful soul star travelers. As you know, these videos are live uh, due to time. There is so much going on in this world and so very many things that I need to share with you that I feel a bit of a flutter of a rush, but I'm trying to keep it to a smooth homeostasis so that I can share everything with you and we can have a wonderful time. <laughs> All right, great. So today we are going to read for the first time your collective tarot. Okay, this is an intuitive reading of the tarot and also the druidic and um, some crystals that we've uh, been working on. Okay, so first of all, I want to share with you the card for today. Okay, this is a pre shuffled and pre figured ahead of time. This is the hind, which is also known as the female deer. And I'm just going to share screen with you so you can see this beautiful babe. I want to tell you a little story about her and also to share with you what it says in the cards, okay? First of all, this is the Druidic deck, okay? Pargon, okay? This is a beautiful, graceful, feminine being who represents the grace and sophistication of, of, of all of nature and the elegance. That was the word I was looking for the elegance. Now, remember that our doe, our hind, which is another type, slightly different type of deer, female deer, speaks to her babies telepathically. So if you're ever in a small town and you see the deer, you know that the mother is speaking to her babies telepathically. Don't cross the street right now. Do cross the street right now. Stay close to me and so forth. You'll notice she never makes a sound. She never stomps her foot. She never cries out. She never whimpers. She might slightly nudge her babies, but in general, all of her communication is telepathic with her children. So I want you to consider that elegance, that beauty, that feminine principle. Uh, it's not a gender point. It is the, the, from the hermetic laws, the law of gender in nature that reproduces. We have both sides. It is not an expression in the human world. But it is this part of us that is nurturing with elegance. And this is very key to what we are going to speak about today, my Earth Star Nation people. Okay. Very, very important. I want to share with you now the tarot, which I pulled for the Earth Star Nation Collective this morning, okay? And I'm going to show you then, I read the cards a little bit differently than perhaps um, that you've ever seen before. First, I search for the um, Major Arcana. 
Okay, so the major arcana for today, the most important, is the magician. Okay. The magician has, oh, you can imagine the qualities that they have. And this is very important because as Earth Star Nation people, we want to activate our magician. Okay. Right. And then I read the minor arcana. Okay. All right. The minor arcana, which goes with this. Here, I'll put it like this is the Ten of Cups, which of course is happiness, okay? So the point being here, as you activate your magicianhood, your magicianship, you will be finding greater and greater happiness. So what does this mean in the physical world? It means take the time to do your meditations. Take the time to do your breathing. Take the time to be in the present moment so that you can make the magic that is so particular to only you, okay? Only you can make the magic like you do. Only you can make the magic like you do. Yes, only you. Now, of course, we all have these capabilities, but you make the magic in your own special way. And that means, you know, your morning routine, your midday routine, your lunchtime routine, your afternoon routine. Maybe you're doing some tapping. Maybe you're doing some energy movement, right? Maybe you're activating your in a meditation. Maybe you're doing some soul retrieval. I'd like to urge you to learn more about soul retrieval. We have posted a few bits on soul retrieval. How to do it, how to regain the power that belongs to you. Okay. Although we do recommend you do that when you're in a very, very safe space or protected, right? So you're protected in a protected space, even if it's your room, your bed, right? All right, back to where we were. So this is the magician. Okay. I'm going to hold on to that. The next, the next one that comes up for you is the Hierophant. Now, the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant coming up today? I'll tell you why. Because you're going to need our magician to deal with the Hierophant, okay? It's rough out there in the world, okay? It's a little bit rough out there in the world. There's so many rules and there's so many things that you've got to do and this and that and you've got to be told blah, 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 blah and work and stiffness and sometimes it isn't very fun, okay? Sometimes it can make us feel this four of pentacles, like maybe we don't have enough, maybe we feeling that it's scarcity. I have to hold on, maybe a little bit of paranoia, what's going to happen next, that kind of thing. So I would like to remind you again, you have the power, okay? You have the power to manage this. We're going to be watching a video in just a moment here. I just want to show you one more, one more, one more, okay? You might need to sacrifice a little few things. You might need to let go let go of that hierophant, okay? Let go of the hierophant, right? Know that, you know, you've got your sense of humor, you've got your magic, okay? That's what's really important here in the Earth Star Nation that we are building. 
you may find that there is again a sense of consternation, you know, holding back, but go ahead on, let go, let go a little bit. And, you know, I know it can be very hard during the day and when you're working, you know, it can be very stressful actually to um, uh, go through the, the, the rigidity of our day-to-day -day, uh, life. And so I urge you to use your magic to make a space where it's a little bit safe to let go. Okay. All right. I'm now going to play for you on Elven World the beautiful uh, music of my mother. Uh, she has created... the music for all of the tarot major arcana. Let's listen for just a moment. Bull sets off on a journey. Before too long, he encounters a magician. Hello, who are you? The fool asked. I am a magician, or one who has exceptional skills in magic, the wise man explained. Oh, really? The fool exclaims. Perhaps you can help me achieve success and gain rewards during my travel. Perhaps, says the great magician, but it appears you will need some help. First, you will need a cup. With his imagination, the cup expresses the water element. Again, using your imagination to envision the emotion outside of life or relationships so it can come true. Next, you need the passion of the fire element. The wand directs you powerful vision. Ooh, it's a little fast. The wand helps you direct your intention and ignite your purpose, bringing it to light. Ooh, go back a little. All right. So first, the magician gives him the cup, right? The cup of imagination. Ooh. That's so wonderful. Using your imagination, you can envision the emotion of an outcome in life or relationships so it can come true. How lovely. Next, you need the passion of the fire element. The wand directs your powerful intention and helps you focus so you can achieve. My mother taught me all these things and I'm so glad to be able to pass them on to you. The wand helps you direct your intention and ignite your purpose, bringing it to light. Magician continues. Third, you will see the gift to all living upon the earth, the golden star that guides upon you. She will give you certainty and protection. If you nurture this gift, you will see the golden star will sign upon you. Finally, the wise magician explained, you will need a sword to cut through the air of illusion. Oh my. Cut through the air of illusion. 
I would think that the air of illusion that we are cutting through in this day, in this time, is the Hierophant. Okay, the Hierophant is not always bad. Okay, you do need order. You do need orderliness. You do need protection. But we are cutting through some of that here so that we can bring the joy of magic and play into our lives. Finally, the wise magician explained, you will need a sword to cut through the air of illusion. Life is a dance. You are moving through the element of air. Practice, keep your balance, and take action. The possibilities are endless if you are skilled in using these tools. The magician continues. The cup of imagination, the wand of intention, the golden star of prosperity, and the symbol to cut through illusion. Magician offers these gifts to the fool who takes them eagerly, bundles them up, buries them deep into his knapsack. Thanks, falls out. As he blithely sets off again for his lifetime of adventure. He might not have been paying attention, but he can. Magician watches him go and wonders, will this fool listen? Or will he ever learn? I would like to uh, urge you to go to Elven World, where you can see these beautiful um, and listen to this beautiful music by Cheryl Lynn, composer, and also related to me, and I have copyright, so <laughs> the last time I tried to make this video, um, I was um, noted, so I want to make sure that all of my music is acceptable for you to listen to, and this very much does belong to me. So you may go and listen to it as much as you want, and I will play some more beautiful music for you very soon. I'm going to go ahead now and play it from start to finish so that you can enjoy this piece of work.
school of school, listen and learn. Will you listen and learn? Create your magic, my beautiful star travelers. And let's move forward to make the Earth Star Nation happen. Talk to you soon.